If you'll turn your attention to the Ayrshire ring, Judge Creek has completed his placings in the senior two-year-old class. Our second place junior entry is entry 333, Miller's Tito Chew Babs, exhibited by Drake, Dylan, and Dalton Knoll from North Fairfield, Ohio. Our first place juniors, entry 330, Klein's Double Whammies DD, exhibited by Klein and Kelly from Milton, Indiana. Our third place winning entry is entry 340, Stillmore, Viking Irina, exhibited by Rustic Creek and Kennard from Kiwani, Wisconsin. Second place in the class is entry 232, excuse me, 332, Steel Fire Burdett Grayson, exhibited by Jeffrey Winkler from Woodbine, Maryland. And winning the class with the production award, Best Bread and Owned and Best Stutter is entry 335, Heinemann Regan Raz, exhibited by Ava Heinemann from Attica, New York. Congratulations. Judge Creek, your comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you came to see a dairy show and tremendous mammary systems, look no further than the first two animals in this class. The cow that wins the class does so with a nearly perfect mammary system. She has the height, the width, the fullness, the firmness at the top of that rear udder. It blends so smoothly into her body. And she has a fore udder that, uh, uh, it's an Ayrshire fore udder, folks. It's, it's got the length, the tightness of attachment, the correctness of teeth placement. She walks on a beautiful set of feet and legs. She's chiseled back through that rump structure and those hips and pins. And she has an advantage over the cow in second for just being fuller and firmer at the top of that rear udder. Cow in second follows the pattern very, very closely. A cow that we give an advantage, the cow in second we give an advantage over the cow in first for having more breed, character, cleanliness, angularity up through that head and neck, freeness of flesh through that throat, dewlap, and brisket. A cow in second that also wears a beautiful mammary system and walks on a quality set of feet and legs. It's the bloom to her mammary system the strength and width throughout the place are over a beautiful uh, framed cow we have coming in third. Cow in third has been fresh nearly a year. A beautiful dairy cow. She has that height to shine, that smoothness of blending of parts, that open rib structure as we, view, as we view her from behind. She's youthful in her mammary's appearance. She has that long forehead that blends so smoothly into the body wall. She walks on a quality set of feet and legs. It's that length of body, that size and scale, that angularity, that place her over a very complete cow we have following her in fourth. Red cow in fourth walks on an excellent set of feet and legs. She holds that udder high above the hock. She's very youthful in its appearance, very strong in its attachments. The teeth sit squarely beneath the udder floor. She has an advantage over the, over the animal that follows her there in fifth and that cleanliness, that angularity, that modern dairy frame. Heifer in fifth then over the heifer in sixth, it's that width of the rear udder that strength of four at her attachment and the correctness to her feet and legs and rump structure and back through her pelvic area that give her advantage over a big, tall, long heifer we have coming in six. Heifer in six, we admire the size and scale, the length, the body, the dairiness. We'd like to give her a little bit more bloom to the top of that rear udder, more width to that rear udder to get her higher up the class. She places over a heifer in seventh, just has an advantage in that style and balance through the front end, that smoothness and blending of parts. But a heifer in seventh that we certainly admire the youthful appearance, the parts that she puts together and would love to see her calved in again. A wonderful class of senior two-year-olds, incredible quality, incredible mammary systems, just a terrific class for the Ayrshire Show.